We are back inside the action, folks. That is, in my own words, the podcast. Hottest show on the streets. Best form of Alabama football news, notes, and information. We are rocking and rolling on a Friday. Yours truly, Stephen M. Smith. And as always, people, be sure to give a thumbs up, give a like on the show, and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. That lets us know here at TDA to continue pumping you out the best news, notes, and information on your Crimson Tide. But it's your time, Crimson Tide fans. 205-448-1358. The number to call in to be a part of the show. 205-448-1358. Before we get to the phone lines, we are actually joined by my good man, uh, Jared Maiden, former Alabama defensive back, who played for the Crimson Tide from 2016 to this past season, 2019. Jared, so happy to have you, man. I'm, I'm uh, appreciative to be here. I'm grateful to be here. Got Jared Maiden in the building, folks. And Jared, uh, you know, first and foremost, congratulations to you Appreciate on it. an outstanding career uh, at the University of Alabama, playing DB, playing corner. Mm -hmm. Now you played everything here everything. in the secondary in mm -hmm. terms of the Tide. And my first thought is coming from Texas, mm -hmm. everything's bigger in Texas. Football's yeah. bigger, everything's bigger. Mm -hmm. But in your recruitment to Alabama and your visit to Alabama, you know, what made this place special? What sold you on Nick Saban? When you left Tuscaloosa after your first visit, what had you thinking, this place is home? Um, really what just had me thinking that was the coaches, the coaches I had met during that time. Uh, things about Coach Pruitt was, uh, was his first year finna be D.C., and then I remember going up to Coach Saban's office, and he told us that, you know, you got an opportunity to come here. You know, you can come here and be legend. You can come here and be one of the, you know, premier guys that, that, that you've seen throughout the Alabama programs. He said, you know, it's not going to be easy, and we ain't guaranteeing, you know, guaranteeing that anything happens in your favor. But if you come here, at least have the chance to show how great and have a chance to be kind of, you know, known as a legend around here and in college football. Huge thing there when you look at just that recruitment part of it. Folks, if you're just now tuning in to the show, we got Jared Maiden, former Alabama safety played from 2016 to 2019 here on In My Own Words, the podcast. And Jared, this past season was a special year for you. You know, four interceptions, but you had a game against Western Carolina where that ball was just finding its mm -hmm. way to number 21. And that's, that's a special moment. I mean, for a lot of guys, young guys, you would want that, they would want that as their freshman and sophomore year, mm -hmm. but you know, what made that game on senior day where you worked so hard, you put in so much effort in, you were rewarded with that three interception performance? Um, it, it, was a, it was a fantastic feeling, you know, especially with it being senior day. You know, it just meant that much more to me, and then, you know, just going in put to the game plan, you know, Coach had a good game plan, and then on my interceptions, you know, one of them just being more disciplined than the other team. You know, he he made a mistake on his read and, you know, just read off him and intercepted the first one. The second time, he just made a mistake and I capitalized. So, you know, everybody in the defense was doing what we were supposed to do that game. So it made it easy for, you know, easy for the DBs to make plays all day. Now, you were invited to the Senior Bowl. You went to play in the Senior Bowl in Mobile. And, uh, of course, Nick Saban, not just the head coach, but the defensive back coach. And he mm -hmm. takes pride in making sure you guys got the technique down, whether it's corner, safety, star, what have you. And going into this draft, you are one of the most versatile DBs in this draft. How much pride do you take in when you're visiting teams or when you're talking to different teams that if you get me – you can put me at corner, I'm a ball. You can put me at safety, I'm a ball. You can put me whatever in the secondary. How much pride do you take in that versatility? Um, I tell you, I take tremendous pride in that. I feel like that's what kind of separates me from everybody else in this draft. And, you know, I, I give a lot of credit to Coach Saban and the scheme. And, uh, you know, even when it was tough at times trying to learn the different positions, you know, he kept pushing me, he kept driving me. And he used to tell me all the time, you know, with you being versatile, you add a lot of, value to our secondary so you know, I just try to push that towards you know coaches when I when I meet with them and talk to them let them know like you know I, I have been trained I've been prepared for all spots so um whatever hole you need need fixed in your defense I can do and, and then some so you know just you know bring more to the defense or whatever NFL team decides to give me so, I mean, what what was the hardest part about, you know, learning this defense? I know it's complex, but just mm -hmm. for you and the different spots in the secondary, what was the hardest thing to master? 
the hardest thing to master really is just really just understanding the full picture. Once you start understanding what offenses are trying to do against you, um, you know, that kind of helps you kind of, you know, eliminate plays that they usually probably have done against other teams, what they're going to specifically want to do against us and, you know, Coach Saban's defense. So that was that was the biggest thing. And then adjusting to, like, the motions. Um, when formations move, a lot of times, kind of like, um, you know, you got various games, rocket sweeps. You got rocket sweeps, RPOs nowadays. So you just got to stay disciplined. So, you know, that's all, you know, something that Coach Saban preaches. So just try to make, make the most of that. How are you right now preparing for the NFL draft? I know there's a lot of um, a lot of training involved, a lot of mm-hmm. workouts involved. So, how are you preparing yourself, you know, physically and also mentally to, you know, hear your name called for this draft? Um, you know, just working out every day. Um, I go up to the facility and work out with the strength coaches, um, Jason. You know, we go Monday through Saturday, so you know, just getting ready for pro day. But um, unfortunately, with the coronavirus, pro bet. Pro Day was moved back, and now they don't know when they're going to have it. So, you know, it's a lot of things going on. But either way, I, as far as what I can control, still working out. You know, you still got to do your film study. You got to be ready for when coaches and, and GMs want you to get on the board. And are they going back through film and asking you the, about formations, splits, what defenses you win? Just trying to see, you know, at the end of the day, they're making an investment in you. So they want to pick your brain, see what type of person you is. So, you know, really just going through that process right now. Still just working out and getting better every day. Thank you for watching Touchdown Alabama Magazine's YouTube channel. To continue to get the best of the Alabama football content, subscribe here and turn on your notifications to stay connected with the hottest shows covering your Crimson Tide.